pop of some of Nebody's one of Nebody's bags. Okay. Uh Kozo Kabano Akai Niwa Hiotsukeru Sukero Nebari Ga Oreno Ho Mimoshinai De the quotes say, boy, kaban no atsukai ni wa. Atsukai is, is a noun referring to the handle of the bag. Uh, handling. It, it's a noun, but it's like the treatment. The treatment of the bag. Yeah. Ni wa. For the purpose of treat. Mm. For the purpose of. This is no. uh ni goes with kiyotsukeru ni kiyotsukeru wa is our topic marker. Be careful with the bag. Yes. Be careful with how you handle that Nebari bag. Ga. Be careful how you handle the bag. Nebari ga ore no ho o mimoshi nai. Nebari did not look at my direction while chuitsuru. While he tell me to ca to caution. While he cautioned me. Yes. As he cautioned me. Yep. Hi, hi. Wakarimashita yo? I know, I know. Uh, konna. So, hi, hi. When you have two highs, this is always going to sound like sarcastic. Hi, hi. Wakarimashita yo? Yeah, yeah, I get it, is kind of what this feels like. Even though it's polite, wakarimashita, the yo with the high high shows how, you know, it it does it doesn't feel like earnest. Hi. So hi wakarimashita um, is totally different than with the doubles. Hi, wakarimas. Um, konna kaban. This bag, motte de mo. Chotto mo e koto nai kedo ne. Chotto e koto nai. It's a little bit not okay. Kind of. So, uh, what this line is saying, which is very hard, we, first we got konna, which you were translated as kono, which it is related to each other. They both do mean this. But konna is more dramatic. Konna kaban. A bag such as this. Temo. You know what temo means? Te form plus mo. To, to even. Even if. Even if I, I do this. Yep. Even if I'm holding the bag. So he's saying like holding it rather than just having it in your possession. So even if I'm holding the bag. That's not something that's good at all. Not even it's not good even a little bit. Chotto mo even a little bit e good koto nai a thing that is not so no, a thing that is not even a little bit good. So he's basically saying I there's no reason for me to hold the bag is what he's saying. Hi, kata ho no kaban o akete no zoitara. Honga Gichiri Sumate Ita Naruhodo Omo Wakeda Wakete No Zoe Tara No Zoe is No Zoke. To raise up. Good guess. It is not to raise up. 
What does akite mean? Akite. Akite. Akete is to lift up. It is not. That's ageru. Ageru is a. Age. Ake. Ke. With a ke sound. Ake. Is to open. Like, to open. Right. So, so he open... opens the bag. Specifically, does he open both bags? How many bags does he open? One. Kata ho. Opens... One of the bag. Hi. Right. And what do you think he's going to do after he opens the bag? He, sh he shuffle through the Good content. Good guess. It kind of means Nozoku means to peek at. So he looks at what's inside of the bag. And when he does so, what does he see? When he does so, when he tara, uh, honga book kichiri sumatte ita Sumatte is to, to stuff, to be gathered at a, at a place. You're right with stuffed. Horns are stuffed. Stuffed. Where do you think they're stuffed? Stuffed. In, Contextually, where do you think these stuff. books are stuffed? In the kaban. So, so in, in one the of them. And do you think there's a lot of and books or is, only a couple of books? Gichiri. A lot of them. Yes. But Disorderly, right, Mani? Uh, gishiri actually just means cramped. So cramped. it means we know this bag is pretty big and pretty heavy, and that it's crammed full of books. So basically, it's like when you try to take a book out of a bookshelf and you can't take it out. Like if you try taking it out, it can't, like two or three books come out. That is an example of a gishiri tsumatte. Without the gishiri, it could be full right. and you could still like take out one book at a time or something. But gishiri is, you know, they're like kind of really squeezed in there. Hi. Squeeze. Followed by naruho, naruhodo. He's, he's saying to himself, or he think to himself, I understand. Right. It's heavy. That's why it's heavy. He's saying, yes, walk it out. That is the reason for Um. Nebari wa mon no mae ni hizama zuki. Hizama zuki. He kneel down. Hi. So nobody kneel down at the front of the gate. Kagi ana o he stare straight at the keyhole. Nani o nagaso hakuso kaku kakuso. Ore wa cho mae yaburi ga dai no dai no e tokui 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 de ude mae mo ke Hi. Nani o kakuso is a idiom, basically, that means to be frank with you. Hi, to be frank with you. Nani o nani kakuso. To be frank. Is that kanji is to the, the, the did it mean hidden? Yes. Nani? Kakusu <laughs> means to hide. And nani is what? So, a soul is um. A, a volition form. Let's hide something. Let's hide what? And then it goes kakuso. Something. But it means I'll kakuso. be frank with you. To be frank. I'll be frank with you. 
Okay, no hiding. Kakuso. Um, ore wa ai jo mae yapari ga jo mae yapari ga is to break locks. The breaking of locks. Dai no tok tokui de meaning with great um ease or with it's my with great specialty right Tok yeah Tokui means Beautiful. you're good at it it's your specialty it's good to be good i'm very good uh ude mai mo kekko is like kekkoi right um quite yes quite ude mai referring to skills mm. So my skill is also quite shirarete iru, knowledgeable. Hi. I know it quite well. Yep. I, uh, not to be frank with you, I about lock picking, that's Joma Yaburi. It is my specialty and I know quite a bit about it. I know quite a bit about it. Kekko shirarete iru. This lock picking thing. Or oh, lock breaking thing. Um, sonna ore de mo kono mon no kagi ana wa hitachi ga kimi o sugi. Katachi, katachi ga kimi o sugi. Sugi de. Maho no chikara o karinai to borrow not to akerare nai ki ga shita no de damatte ita sonna ore de mo Sonna is such a thing. Hi. I the mo. Even I. Hi. Such a thing, even I. So basically, such a person as I. No... Right. Sonna such is a it adds a grammatical thing. You can't really say such a thing as I because that is you're not a thing. So in English, we'd say person, right? Such yeah. a person as I. So even a person such as I, even who if, was mentioned in the previous sentence if, of being very knowledgeable and specialty with picking locks, he um he got stud something. He um so kono mon no kagi ana wa regarding this lock. This lock of the gate, kataji ga the shape of it, shio uh, kimi o tsugi de. Ki is the kanji for strange, and miyo tsugi, tsugi is a lot of something. You're right. Sugiru is too much, like tabe sugita, to eat too much. Kimio then is a kanji for strange yep. or peculiar something. Peculiar, I don't know what the second kanji is had onna and is. Mio head. also means strange. So it just says strange, strange. strange. So peculiar, strange. Um sugite, meaning it's the shape of this is strange. Maho no chikara o the magical power kairi nai to if without the use of magical power akerare nai cannot open or will not open potential form uh ki ga sita no de Kigashita is I felt, or I have a feeling such. 
No de is therefore damate ita, meaning I will be quiet. I, or I, I stay quiet. quiet. I damate. I damate. So what did the quiet. main character feel like was going on with this gate's lock? His feeling what despite being skillful with lock picking, with regard to this particular lock, the shape of it is very peculiar. Right. And that he thinks that without the use of magic, it would not open. Perfect. Therefore, he stayed quiet. Nebari wa madosek yo jo ni oshiate jumon o dai ko dai go dai go dai go e de. Oh, go ahead. Tonae ta. Tonae is to sing, right, Mani? Or to speak It can loudly. be used to refer to singing. It's not actually about the loudness, which is why it's being modified with o go e. Tonae do specifically means you're saying words, but you're not like saying words like I like popcorn or math two plus two equals four or something like that. Tonairu it insinuates they're saying like a set phrase, like a ma like a jumon. The only way you can say a jumon is through tonairu, because you're not talking, right? And you're not like screaming nonsense. There is a specific set of words that you're saying. I think the word here that you say like in to iterate or something, to chant. So that that's what this right. specifically is meaning. So with music, that does make sense because there's specific lyrics that you have to tonight. Right. I see. He chanted right. a spell with with a loud voice. Um he he um he he did something to the magical stone. Madoseki o he oshi ate. Oshi ate is he, the verb. It is also He pushed it. Yep. And do you want to, Yes. Together it is to press. Also is to push. And ate yes. means like to hit. To hit. A, but it's not he like to hit like it. smacking it or something. Uh, it means hit. like something like attaches to something. Ate um, so this basically means it's pressed I, against the lock versus just also would insinuate his goal is to be pushing against the lock, which he's not actually trying to push the lock, right? He's just pressing it against the lock. He's putting the stone against the lock. I, that's what it's saying. They are touching. I, oh, immediately after. Uh, oh. And then uh, Midori, but it's not Midori in this case. It is in it's this case. Broken. It's Ao Midori. If this is read as Ao, Ao Midori. this has to be read as Midori because both of these are being their right. single readings. You're right. You're correct that this is not the second reading, but that's the married reading. And if this was married, then this would have to be married too, which would be like Sao or something. I don't know the married reading of Ao. Um, right. Midori. Uh, Aomidori iro. Aomidori iro. Blue green color. Right. No hikari, the light of a blue green color. Got that light. It's no yoni, like a arrow. Yagi no yoni. Just ya on its own. Like an arrow. Ya no yoni, like an arrow. Yoni here referring to, uh, he didn't use mitai, he didn't use somna, he used yoni, which means his feeling is his impression that it is like. Hi. In this case, you could kind of think about it because it's describing the hito suji um, that Tobi dasu, right? So when you picture an arrow, it's not saying it's in the physical shape of an arrow necessarily here, right? Mitai would mean the magic light specifically was like, okay, this is what an arrow looks like. Let me just 
go make myself into this shape. Okay, I am shaped up. Now I'm going to line up and go tobidatsu. Instead, it's more like describing the action going on here. The like a ya. Like if you shot out a ya. Right? So that, that's how that mm. difference between mitai, which is more on the physical appearance, and yo is more like the feeling behind that thing. So right here, it's focusing more on what does an arrow look like when it's in a when it's being tobidashita. It's focusing more on that hitosuji than on a physical actual arrow. Hi. Wakata. So hikari ga ya no yo ni kagi ana kara. Hito suji tobi daste. Hito is one. Yep. Suji is a spine of some sort. Yeah, it basically means line. So hito suji is one line. One line. Tobi daste is it flew. Right. It, it, it dash out. Um, Nebari no te kara from the hand of Nebari. Mado seki o hataki otoshita. Something fell. Hataki. What did he do to the stone? He He dropped it? You're right, so the stone has been dropped. So hataki, let's let's talk about hataki. So hataki and tataku. So it's hataku right here. These are the same verbs, same kanji, but they're pronounced differently. Tataku, hataku. The difference between these two is basically what direction the hitting is occurring. Hataku is a sweeping motion. Hataku is left to right. It is go it's just sweeping something off. So like a slap is hataku. Tataku is more of a vertical motion. Like if you got drumsticks and you're hitting a drum, you go up and down, right? When you're tataku a drum, up and down. Hi. Hataku is not really up and down. Hataku is slapping someone in the face, which is horizontal. So here we have um hikari ga madoseki o hataku the light hatakus the madoseki Wait, so what does that mm. mean what did the light do to the magical stone it means that the light came out from the lock right. like an arrow and it slapped the rock off the hand of nebuti yes perfect so you can see how the Leica arrow, even in English, just by context, our automatic assumption is that we're talking about the speed of it versus talking about the physical appearance. But we could say yami no mitai ni. Right. You could definitely say that, but it just feels more like the arrow, the light perhaps turned into the physical shape of an arrow versus which right. was also probably fast like an arrow, but it just kind of gives this off that slightly different no vibe. Yo would mean have the sense of being swift like an arrow yes the motion is swift yeah so in general um, when translating you don't really need to care about bitaini and yoni because we don't actually differentiate between these two things in english they're the same idea kind of like if you're doing japanese you don't actually need to know the difference between i mean if you're japanese learning english you don't really need to remember the difference between oboeiru and kangairu because they're both just think in english so if you're translating into english you see oboeiru or kangairu it doesn't really matter it only matters when you're in english translating to japanese so that's the only time it really matters which one you use so as far as a translating standpoint they're both just going to, they both mean like an arrow because we don't actually care in English if we're focusing on physical or emotional. Or speedy, I, I guess. 
Ok, tá. Um... Hikari no Yagi wa Yani? Ya, in this case is ya. Hi. Hikari no ya wa um, Haretsu Shite Dai Something. I don't know this one money. Right. Um, dai Tai which is a large quantity. Tai ryo. So Haretsu Haretsu Shite that Hairyo no he he um uh hana bi bi oh no no this is hana bana this is bana he bana yep he bana or fireworks mm he bana o fuki dashi fuki dashi he bana ga you Gani Ochite Chu Chu To Oto Tateru. Hey, so Hibana is not fireworks, Hanabi is fireworks. Do you remember what Hibana means? Fire flower? It is fire flower. This is a spark. A spark. A spark. Hi. Hi. So fukidashi is to fall, right? Money? Kind of. Like the that, falling that is, of a petal. Yeah, like a like petals of a flower is a good way of thinking about it. It is um specifically like to kind of like the fall like the what did it say? To gush out is the word um that I would say. Um so but it does into... have a falling sensation to it, right? So if you have like a cup with water in it, it's gonna gush out downwards, right? So this normally is not a upward motion. It is a downward motion when you see um Buki does it. But it just is kind of like like it's gonna look like Hanabi, the Bibana. <laughs> um Hanabi do Bibana. Buki does it in the sky. Buki das. Buki dashi. It gush, it gush out. Right. And it's Hibana ga yuka ni ochite. It fall on the floor. Right. It's ju ju to oto o tate. It make the sound ju ju. Ju ju. And this hikari no ya is these arrows of lights. They haretsu. They cracks open, right, Mani? But how ah, does it break something? Yeah, it's it's not the crack open though, it's the explosion in general. So basically the light arrow explodes into a large amount of sparks. And these sparks, you know, are gushing forth from the explosion, right? So we're literally just describing a firework, right? So firework is like an arrow that goes up into the sky. Then at some point it haretsus, it explodes, and a bunch of little sparks, you know, gush forth from that center area, and then they start falling downward. And in this case, of course, it's actually hitting the floor with right. a juju noise, which is very nice and fantastical. Hey, Mani, so the previous sentence said that there was a light swift as an arrow hits the rock off the hand of Nevri, then this, this sentence say, the light arrow explode into spark. So right. is that the same event? Is this the same yes. event you think? Yeah. The, this, so it this, hits the rock? The subject exploded. of the sentence, right? What was paragraph? Like when you make paragraphs in all languages probably, you kind of have something that's connecting them together, like some kind of idea. This paragraph, the idea is about a light that came out from the keyhole that is that went over and smacked the light, the rock, out of Nevery's hand. Then it explodes and becomes a bunch of little sparkly bits that are springing downward toward the floor. 
and it's going to do um something else but like it's it's all under like that same idea you know there's there's like an idea that goes behind the sentence i mean the paragraph so things are like connected um generally when i teach you i have things basically not totally separated into paragraphs to some extent i do the fireworks thing and the thing whenever we go between different paragraphs but i don't really like focus that this is one paragraph we're working through between the separate lines but in general these are always going to be related to each other as like for example this paragraph right here is basically the main character talking about how annoying it is that nobody wants him to hold the book like he's talking about the annoying bag so it's about the bag right here and the second line right here we've changed topic we're no longer talking about the bag but instead now we're talking about nobody bending in front of the gate and the next thing right here this is a te- this is a paragraph which is all about um the lock the unlocking of the lock is what this paragraph is about it's you know i'm a good lock pick but i'm not going to try lock picking that lock because the lock looks like a lock that needs magic and then nobody uses a magic spell toward the lock so it's all about the lock so you see how like each paragraph has like one thing it's about so this one's about the light and this one is lock this one is um nevery and the next one over here was bag hi hi wakata uh anyway Shall what I is continue? yeah <laughs> Hi. So, suzuite monga gigi to. Then this is the kanji for low or depleted or a low sound or to. By a low sound. So, he do oto. Is it he doi? He doi oto? Ah, he kui. He kui. Sorry. クイオトトトモニイシノユカオコステヒライタコステ。What did he do to the floor made of rocks? Hi, コスル is to rub against, which is why the gate's going yee probably. Rub. Harai is to open. Yep. Rub's open. No, 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 no. No, you're right. It's open. No, no, it did. It rubs against the, the stone floor. Hi. As, as it open. Yes. It made a low rumbly noise. Gi, gi. And then totomo ni is on top of that. Uh, You on sit along the- with earlier as a translation. The tomo? Yeah, tomo. Along with? You said it opened oh, along with. with a noise. So you already said to- tomo. You, or- you already put that in the word. That That's the right. tomo, along with. Um, the so knees, then- ladies, now we're describing the verbs, which is the opening. And to is because it's the sound. So to- to- tomo is along with. So along with the sound, the sound is low. And is making a gee gee noise. Hi. And the suzuite is the continuation. Yes. So continuing. Of the previous. What, yeah. So this is all what that magical light did. The light's actions. It knocks out the stone out of Nebri's hand, uh, explodes into fireworks, and then opens the gate. Um, and then it has different, like, separate, like, subjects. So over here, the subject of the paragraph, I mean, this sentence is mon versus hanabi and hikari. So we do change the topic of this, the, the subject of the sentence, and we'll have, like, different kind of mini topics, but we have one idea that links the paragraph together. I won't stop.